corrected myself. I corrected myself. I corrected myself. And I hung myself too. So. Whoa. Yo, that was so sick, Justin. Versus Mr. N, MCZ Wolf Prone. I know. Don't do that. Don't do that. Up next, it's Fire Liger. Nope, it's not. But <laughs> it is Wolf Prone. Chris G versus Wolf Crone, wow. Joshua Philpot versus Christopher Gonzalez. Oh, wow. He's, he's getting in his face. Wow. He's making sure to point out the headphones there. Nicely done. Trolled. Did, the, did he really just troll Wolf Girl? Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I've got water here. Thank you, though. Thanks. Appreciate it. Are you ready? You know that song, Sweet Caroline, and how, like, at bars, white people will do the whole bump, bump, bump thing in the middle of the song. I had never even heard that song until I moved to Washington, D.C. and went to a bar in Georgetown. And I was like, man, this is a foreign territory, and I got to get out of here. <laughs> so what colored people music do you listen to? Look, let's just talk about the match. Up next, we have Chris G <laughs> playing soccer versus Pulp Crone using Viper. No shots here. Potentially dangerous match for Viper just because of the damage and stun output by Sakura. I mean, literally two combos can do it. Or, a, you know, a couple of hits and then a combo. And very bad situation to be in right now for Viper. Nice control. Wow. Now, Chris G, obviously very good at many games. This is not considered one of his better games. I mean, he's great but he's not one of the, the, the super strongest of players in this game. So let's see. Well, I think he's picked a good character if that's the case. Because, yeah. wow, nice read. Because Sakura's all about making reads, and although spacing is still very important to her, like it is for everybody. And Chip, yes. Yep. Um, she's about execution and reads. She yep. really is. And, uh, and apparently, according to Flash Metroid, unblockables as well, which could be hard to blockables. It's really hard to tell. Well, they're all hard to blockables. There's no true unblockable. That's true, that's true. Um, but yeah. Twitter seemed to be um, or upset with, uh, with us calling them unblockables uh, earlier. <laughs> that's what I thought. Yeah, I, mean, I know. That's what they I are yeah. I'll explain the unblockables yeah, once we'll, we have a downtime. We'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, so Wolf Crone, by the way, Wolf Crone has been playing a lot of cross Tekken. Um, and since, since he has been really grinding on that game, uh, he hasn't been as dominant in Street Fighter 4 as he previously had been. Right. Nice combo there from Chris G. Saving all of his meter right now. What has he got? Oh, did you get it? Yep. One, two, three, four. Look at that damage. Gets to set something up if he wants. And he nice does. block. And Not dead yet. Oh. oh, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Smart. Just go right into EX Hurricane. Even if that didn't kill, he had the Ultra 2. Fully stocked and raring to go. Chris G taking game one over Wolf Crone. Wow. I mean... Sakura definitely a wow a missed missed instant air burn kick from Wolf Crone. I haven't seen that from him, and I I don't know that I've ever seen that from him. It's been <laughs> it's always had very strong. Oh, I love seeing that as an anti air. It just like floors him so fast. And now no meter, of course. This is the start of the round, but 
very little that Sakura can do in no meter situations, and Wolfcrone taking huge advantage of it. Right, she really has pretty terrible wake up unless she has three bars. Yep. She's very Rufus like in that way. Trying to get oh, a nice reaction. Great counter. There's another jump around us from the other character. Oh, he says, I'll see your neutral jump and I'll raise you my neutral jump. Good stuff to Chris G. They both have Tyler very strong Wolfram. neutral, or sorry, jump in his axe. Nice. Ooh, I thought he had the block, but I guess not. Only character can cross you up from half a screen away. Nice. How's he going? Nice like high that. block. I like that mix up, but better defense there from Chris G. And I love those neutral jump roundhouses, but Wolf Chrome reading it and meeting him in the air with his own jump roundhouse. Smart play from Wolf Chrome. Wolf Chrome just backs away there. Trying to get back to a situation where he can set his game up. You saw when he super jumped over him, he was like, you know what, I'm just going to burn kick and get out of here. You know, get as far much of a distance as possible. Wow, I think Chris went up for the throw there and Wolf Chrome got him first. Maybe he went for a late frame trap or something? I'm not sure. Well, Wolf Chrome looks to be on his game right now. All right. Might have had some issues in the earlier times, but now after a couple of rounds of playing, he takes two straight. And he looks he looks comfortable out there. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Got money. Nice. Oh, focus back. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with Sakura up close. He has really been very slippery since the first game. Punish. Oh, he could have gotten a free crouch wow. kick and a punish there, but instead he goes for something else, and now that's Ow. big. That's huge. Next hit, potentially. Oh, nice, nice block. block oh, okay. And that's Not a true mix-up, because he can, he can stay in front with that instant air burn kick, too. Right. Oh, nice anti-air there. Not going to risk a second one. Wasn't sure if he was high enough. Got him. Wolf wow. on match point. Just a low forward and a thunder knuckle. Dominating first game from Chris G. All of a sudden turned around now. Josh one round away from taking this. Up in the air, Wolf Crone. And again, the mix-up. This time, Chris G gets it. Oh, and he gets two crushing shorts, but nothing else. Other side? No. Oh, just... wow. He went for that meaty short hurricane, which is such a great way to start an offense, but not against wake up DPs. Nope. Nice block again from Chris G. Oh, wow. Just do it. Well, he had enough meter to make it safe, so here he comes. Nice. Oh, dash That's actually pretty lucky for Wolf Crone right there. Next mix up could be it. There it is. Which side was that on? Let's find out. It was a cross up. <laughs> and Wolf Crone takes it. Yep. I mean, that's one of the things you always do as Viper. As a Viper player, whenever you do Fierce Thunder Knuckle, always buffer in a forward dash. Always, always, always. That should just be your default motion. Spin Kick Fierce, double tap forward, because if it ever trades, it'll automatically dash forward. And if it doesn't trade, then there's no negatives at all. You're still, you're up in the air or whatever. And if it gets beat, you're getting beat. Yeah, well, then whatever, yeah. <laughs> So, there you go. Okay, I'm sorry. We're going loser's side now. We're going over the loser's bracket now. First up. I need Chris G back on stage. Wow, they're just going to throw Chris G right back 